Thank you, Lynn. And, and I want to thank uh, Governor Rendell for his steadfast support on this issue, Governor Schweiker for being here today, and Representative Shapiro for championing this issue uh, in the House last session. And I think Lynn touched on a lot of great points with respect to the poll. And I think what the poll demonstrates is the public perceives that there's a problem with the judicial system. And that's why Senator Earle and I introduced our respective bills, because it's clear uh, that the public wants, and I think we demand, a better way of selecting our statewide appellate court judges. And uh, the public senses that something's wrong, and you can see that uh, in the release that 62 percent of Pennsylvanians support merit selection. Uh, there's no region in the state that does not uh, support merit selection, and so not only does it go across party boundaries, but it goes across regions in this very diverse state. Um, the merit selection system that we have outlined uh, in our bills make, makes qualifications uh, the determining factor as to who gets on the bench, not the arbitrary nature of the current system, which frequently uh, relies on uh, ballot position, geography, gender, a whole ho host of factors that do not necessarily go to the qualifications of that particular individual. Uh, as Lynn said, this also removes money from the process and dispels the perception the judges treat campaign contributors differently than folks who do not give them campaign contributions. 76% of those surveyed believe that campaign contributions factor in some way into a jurist uh, decision. That is unacceptable, as is the fact that 69% of the folks who were surveyed said they did not have a sufficient information on the candidates to, in the last statewide judicial election. Um, and I think one of the key things to hit on with uh, what, with merit selection and what we're talking about in terms of the, pub, the result of the public polling uh, is the fact that we're not necessarily casting aspersions on one or two particular jurists or one or two uh, individuals. Um, but we, what we are casting aspersions on is the, the system uh, and the system, the system that brings these individuals that they're required to enter into, whether it's raising money, whether it's negative campaign commercials, negative campaign mailers, uh, all of the things that I think uh, people detest about electoral politics, uh, we forced our, our potential jurists uh, to enter into this system and, and engage in all those things. And as Lynn said, uh, $4.7 million spent uh, in in-kind and direct contributions in the last statewide uh, Supreme Court election should be uh, a signal to all of us in the legislature that we need to move beyond uh, this system and move to the merit selection system. Um, merit selection also provides better chances for those without the access to money and from diverse backgrounds to reach the bench. Uh, for instance, there has never been an African American or Hispanic elected to Pennsylvania's Supreme Court. And I think merit selection uh, would ensure that we have a more diverse bench in the future. So as Lynn said, let us put the ball in the public's court. Ninety-three uh, percent of the, uh, of the um, individuals who responded to the poll uh, want some choice. And, and this will give them a choice. I think that's the key thing to emphasize. Uh, we pass it in successive sessions, and the people uh, will, of Pennsylvania will have a choice. So I think that's the key point, and I want to thank everyone for being here today, and I certainly uh, appreciate the opportunity to speak.